On September 13th, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet updated to include the Teal Mask DLC, bringing us a new story, new characters, and most importantly, a new area filled with Pokemon unseen in Paldea. With all this new content, you know what my first thought was? More shinies! So welcome to my journey of finding way too many shiny Pokemon in the first three days of playing the DLC. Okay, so first we need to address the elephant in the room. You can't hide the camera interface anymore. Pressing A takes a picture. Do I know why they did this? No. Do I want to know why? A, a, a little bit, but no, 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 no. Do I want this changed back? Absolutely! Game Freak, get on it. We need our scenic shots, please. The B-roll. Camera aside, the first shiny I wanted to get in this region was Wooper. I'm sure that comes as no surprise. I'm a big fan of Wooper, and like I said in my last video, I have been trying to make Shiny Wooper my little iconic Pokemon almost since I first made this channel. Haldean Wooper was my first Shiny in Scarlet, so even though I have a few Johto Wooper already, I want to keep a tradition going. Wooper is the top priority. Okay, so I've played the DLC for about a half hour, and... I have a heckin' whooper outbreak, so you know what that means? I'm gonna speedrun this. Okay, let's just... Three, two, one, go. It's all the way over there. Not a problem. Let's go. I also have Herba Mystica. I haven't used it yet, so... <laughs> um, I hope that I have the ingredients I need. Uh, cucumber. Spicy. Oh no! Oh no! I don't have any salty Herba Mystica on this game? Uh... Um... I am eyeballing this. Um... Spicy... Sour. I guess we don't need the encounter power, so I totally wasted my time there. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, teensy power! <laughs> we might get a mini one! That's okay. It still gives up the, the sparkling power ne we need. Uh, that's not a whooper. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, none of these can swim. 29. Look at all the whoopers. 30. 39. There's one getting away. Megan, get that while I go closer to this one. 39. Where are they? Help! This is so slow. Oh, hello, Poliwhirl. You're not what I want. You're not what I need. 42. I have definitely messed up the count several times. 43. 47. end it but I paused it you get the idea nine minutes 44 seconds level 68 heck and whooper <laughs> oh my gosh I thought this was gonna take forever oh wow nice listen game freak you're cool and all but like what the heck is this we can't get rid of the menu anymore Oh yeah, I was mad about the camera for a while. But anyways, after this, I spent the remainder of my day playing a little bit of the story, playing the Ogre Austin minigame, which, dude, hard mode is genuinely hard. It's insane. And I also went exploring just to see what new places there are. But during this time, the game decided to be a little nice to me.
So now that's two shinies I've never had before, one of which I couldn't have gotten in Scarlet or Violet until now. Now there are two Pokemon I decided to hunt for around 1am on release day, Poochyena and Ducklet. They both have amazing shinies, and since time had reset the outbreaks, I had outbreaks for both of them, so I got Poochyena pretty quickly. And then Ducklet, well, it took a while. So much so that I found a different shiny. No outbreak, no sandwich. Silly goofy mushroom guy, you're not who I'm looking for. Shortly after that, I found my precious pink ducklet, and that was all my shiny hunting before going to sleep. The next morning, I hopped on a call with Tales of Taylor, Absol Blog's Pokemon, Luvactor, Super Potion, Quick Panic, and Brosidon. I didn't have a particular target I was hunting for, but then I remembered the incident. This is by far the strangest thing I've seen in these games. Why are there so many Hoot Hoot? Why are they all in a cave? What are they scheming? Should I be afraid of them? And then I realized this is the perfect place to hunt. All the telegram sounds. Telegram, wow. I remember that. Yep. I remember when those things were first invented. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't have those. Taylor and I still have those. Yo! Oh! Shiny Hoot Hoot! Let's yeah. go! Let's go! Let's heck it go! Nice. Are you sure it's oh, not it's just so dust? Cool. <laughs> yeah, you're so I'm right. Sure. You're so right. I'm, so I'm quick balling right. it. <laughs> Dude, that was pretty fast. I have a creature now. Let's go! That's not the right one. <laughs> I love those shiny showcases where it's like, all right, let's send it out in wrong. battle, and it's like regular your watchdog. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, that's just my Lumity guy. Hold so on, hold on, so pretty. I love the nice. yellow on it. After that, I decided to hunt for a shiny Vulpix, and thankfully had an outbreak of them. And its shiny is obvious enough. I did uh, like this was my first year participating in Safari Week, and absolutely nothing. I'm like, dude, and I've got like the best odds possible. Like, come on, it's BDSP. <laughs> Though also, when I found out that the shiny charm works differently in that game, I was kind of pissed. It is really <laughs> weird how oh. it only applies to eggs. I guess it would, my, my like only backwards, like reverse engineering the reasoning for that was doubling up on radar. I'll be right back something like maybe that's what it was it would make it too saturated but i guess they could make it not oh. the radar. don't run away from me <laughs> no <laughs> slowly oh, running oh, after it let's oh i thought i heard her say oh and i'm like wait did she find <laughs> That was so subtle. <laughs> Dude, Vulpix looks so cute in this game. It does. Like, that is such a good model. I don't know if... Like, I'm assuming they changed it from the last... It looks different. It's battle stance It looks great. different. Yes. It is so good. For the rest of the call, I was just wandering Kitakami. This is a new place, so I wanted to explore while chatting with friends. Thankfully, my wandering luck is really good. That's what I'm Arbor. scared of. <laughs> I want to see Arbor. Okay, yeah. so... The rare Terra one? Yeah. No that way. That would be an amazing Terra. Is that... There is a Terra one, yeah. Is this there actually... I think I actually got a shiny Grubbin. What? No. Is it all red? Uh, is it dark? Like red? Are you... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I want to see your video. It, it's getting away, it's getting away. That looks really red. 
Oh, that, that is, that is. Yeah, that what is. the heck? Because it's not, it's got the, like, the darker face. Let's heck and go? Yeah. Popping off. I was just okay. wandering. They are noticeable. Level 74. Yeah, I noticeable too. But that's totally noticeable. I evolved that Grubbin into Vikavolt, which looks amazing. After the call, my brother texted me that he got a shiny Spinarak. And you know what? I want one too. So around 11 p.m. that night, I went and got myself one. After that, I was done shiny hunting for the day. I decided to stock up on some Herba Mystica. So I went wandering to see if there were any good raids. But in doing so, I ran into this. Illumise. Illumise? Dude, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna be real with you. All I know is that I had a shiny one that I got on Wonder Trade in Pokemon X. Its name was Air Mattress, so I'm naming this one Air Mattress as well. I'm very creative. This Pokemon was an indication that it was time for me to get some Shut Eye. The next day would be very busy. I started off the day working on evolving my Mankey into a Nihilape. To evolve Primeape into this beast, you need to use the move Rage Fist 20 times. So I was getting my punches in until something caught my eye. Surprisingly, this is my first shiny Starly on Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet, so hey, I'll happily take it. After getting that done, I needed to work on the short. This one was how to evolve Applin into Diplin, and I wanted to show what shiny Diplin looked like as well. There's this one tree in the tag tree thicket where Applin can spawn. Knock the Applin off the tree and then use the Let's Go feature with your giant Pokemon in front of your party. Go stand by this other tree and your Pokemon will hopefully keep defeating these Applin on its own, while more of them spawn in the tree over and over again. So I sat there, waiting for something to happen. Anyways, so, it, yeah. Here's I can- oh, don't fall asleep! Don't do that! Don't do it! <laughs> we don't want that- No sleeping here! The only one allowed to sleep here is me- Oh, heck! I didn't turn off the heckin- I didn't turn off my Go++. Plus plus. <laughs> Still going, I see. Sleep data has been adjusted. I got too much sleep. Ah, oh, heck. That's no good. Six minutes less? Aww. Oh. That's okay. Slumbering type. Isn't that nice? I do like my sleep. Let's see if we got any shinies on here. I would enjoy some more shinies on sleep. Oh, I got a mine junior. That's a new one. Why is this Igly buff ascending? Oh, it says it's singing sleep, but that just looks like it's about to... Oh! <laughs> I wasn't looking! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! My friend! <laughs> So, I already know what the evolution looks like as a shiny, but I don't have one on my game yet, so that'll be really cool to actually have. It's raining- it's even worse here?! I'll just have to deal with evolving my Applin in a storm. Hello, Applin. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Did it stop? Oh, sweet. Isn't that nice? It stopped raining. I think I still have one of those apples left. Maybe. I guess we're about to find out. Yep, I have one left. 
You got this, dude. You're about to be golden. Look at you. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. That is truly a golden apple. It's not just yellow. This is golden. Man, that is beautiful. Later that evening, I wanted to hunt for a certain pseudo-legendary dragon, Jangmo'o. The Jangmo'o line looks amazing in these games with their shiny looking scales. And since I've never gotten a shiny one before, this was absolutely the time to change that. So, for whatever reason, I didn't record the actual encounter, but when it showed up, I realized it would look super good in a love ball, and I was two Pokedex entries away from getting a love ball. Thank goodness Jangmo'o is one of those Pokemon that chases you. I had it follow me around while I caught two Pokemon so I could get the love ball, and then I went to catch this dragon. So I actually ended up catching two of them because I think Jangmo'o is adorable, so I want to keep one as a baby. But also, Komo'o is so cool, so now I have both of them. That night, I was once again looking for good raids so I could get some Herba Mystica in preparation for some of the more time-consuming hunts. And as I was going from one crystal to another, it happened again. Shiny Starly, number two. Now I can have a baby one and a star after. Nice! But that also sparked my want to get more shinies that night. I had a Mianfu outbreak and started prepping for that hunt. I didn't have to prep all that much though. This little guy pulled the same thing as my whooper, showing up when I hadn't even defeated 60 of them yet. Then there was Sentret. This hunt took surprisingly long. The outbreak was right by a despawning area, which makes it faster to get new spawns. And yet I was there for a couple hours until... Once I got this shiny, I went for a second one. I love shiny Furret, but I still wanted a shiny Sentret because it has a totally different shiny that I love. And if I have to choose between one or the other, well, I'm not gonna listen, I'm gonna get both. The next day, I recorded and uploaded a YouTube short in the Crystal Pool area of Kitakami. Then I left my Switch on sleep mode for a few hours until I joined a call with Super Potion, Blue Vactor, and later on Absol Blog's Pokemon. And I realized I may have had a shiny waiting for me that entire time. <laughs> I, can, I didn't even see it. This is probably on my game for hours. There's just a shiny Yanma. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I love Yanma so much. It looks good in this game. Yeah, there it is. In the pool. Oh shoot, that's a cool spot. Dude, I was making a short, which I uploaded a couple hours ago, and then I started editing a different <laughs> video. It was probably here this whole time. The entire time, yeah. Come on, get over here. <laughs> nice, and that was a good close up. I spent the rest of the call once again wandering around, but my wandering luck was insane. This call went on for a couple hours and I didn't use any outbreaks or sandwiches, just the shiny charm. Oh! Shiny Geodude! Oh, oh nice! The dude! Look at that. <laughs> nice, I get a look at its back. Back. <laughs> yeah. Gonna save. Had to move my Fue Coco <laughs> plushie because I didn't know if I was recording. 
And you know oh. what? It would look great in a quick ball. Yeah, it would. It's got yellow. I'll take it. That's right. That's right. I caught my yellow Mise in one. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. It's actually a Mountain Dew channel, funnily enough. Uh, there's no way. There's no way that's Another a shiny, shiny magic harp. What? It's probably shiny. No way! Oh! <laughs> that's why. It's what how heck? long has it been? Two seconds. Yeah, it's been like, <laughs> like two minutes, yeah. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> I don't have off. any sandwiches going or anything. <laughs> that's crazy. What the heck? I'm adding Dang. it to my party. Look at that. That is so good looking. It's <sighs> a good shiny, especially in this game. Yes. That gold. <laughs> I keep doing this to myself. What? I always forget to put the Pokemon in the front of the party. Hello there, friend. I guess this isn't. This spot here doesn't do it enough justice because it's in the shade, but like, still. That is still amazing. Look, you can see the reflection still. Yeah. I'm curious. It has a mark. <gasps> it is sleepy. Aww, sleepy magic curve. I keep. I was about to show that there's no sandwich going and I went to the uniforms. <laughs> is that? Yo, that is. That's definitely a shot. That is. <laughs> That's a shiny girder. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, look at that! That, that, caught that is guard. noticeable. That's wow. a cool one. That's that, really noticeable. Yeah, Concoder's like one of my favorite Gen 5 ones. Yeah, that. I'm excited. I like Concoder too. Oh, that's cool. Two random shinies. Not what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> How many shinies have we found in call so far? Uh, a lot. I found three. <laughs> there have been at least three since I've joined. It's crazy. <laughs> The call is yeah, you, <laughs> you only missed my yeah, Yanma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I supposedly had a shiny Yanma on my game for no heckin' way. Did you find something too? No oh my heckin' God. way! <laughs> that is a tiny shiny rock rough! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what, what is going what on? Is, what is going on? I swear I do not have so a blessed. sandwich going. <laughs> this call is way too blessed. What's I'm making, this I'm is making what the breakthrough of the century. We've got like 17 shinies. <laughs> like, I'm just enjoying playing a video game. Dude, what the <laughs> heck? I cheer and that's how it goes. <laughs> Yo. Shiny Spinarak. Another one? Insane. Now I Oh, hi, Luxray. That's the second spinner act in this call tonight. Yeah. And I already have one. That's almost a full party of just random shinies during this call. That's crazy. Man. Wandering around really heckin' does it. It does. It's where the magic happens. So, in the first, let's see, three days, of the Teal Mask DLC, I ended up with a total of 24 shinies. That's insane! In comparison, my first three days of the Pokemon Scarlet base game, I got a total of zero shinies. Needless to say, the Teal Mask made up for my awful shiny luck from the game's launch. There are so many things I want to do in Kitakami. I have so, so many shiny hunt ideas and I can't wait to share them with you guys. But for now, I'll leave you with a couple things. Thank you for 280,000 subscribers. That is insane. What is going on? Also, I hid something in this video. If you missed it, that's okay, because it'll be out soon, and then everyone will know. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like it, because one like equals one. Game Freak, please let us hide the camera UI again. Anyways, goodbye, and stay hydrated.